Cool, now that we have a functional form in our application, the next thing we want to do is make sure everything connects to our Airtable database. Um, this goes for getting the information from Airtable along with posting the information from our form uh, when we want to add someone new into our contact. So we're going to take a look at Airtable. Uh, we're going to use and create a database in Bravo and we're gonna link and make sure everything is connecting correctly that way our app has all those features. Now that we have our form built um, and we have our pop-up screen for our review, now it's time to go ahead and sync all of that information from Airtable to our application. So if we look at our Airtable, we wanna make sure that our contact list that we have here um, it's added to our detail page or our contact list page and we want to make sure all that information appears in our detail page uh, when we select a certain contact. And we also want to make sure that when we add a contact, whatever we add here gets added to our Airtable database. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to jump into Bravo right now. And under data library, we're going to go ahead. I have it here, but I'm going to go ahead um, and walk through it one more time. So you're going to hit new collection. You're going to use the Airtable wizard, um, which basically will ask for the Airtable link, uh, URL link, and your um, API key to get it connected. So those two simple steps will get you all your connections to your Airtable database. So once you go ahead and go through that, um, you're gonna find the URL. So we'll do that real quickly. Paste that there. Next is where you can get your API key, plug that in and it'll connect everything. All right, so once you get connected to your Airtable um, base here, you're gonna see, you're gonna have these two options on the side. You're gonna have get list and get detail. You're not gonna have this post contact, um, but this post contact is what we're gonna now make. Um, and this is gonna be used for our form uh, when we add a new contact to our list. So what you can do to create this post contact is you can hit this plus button here. You're gonna create a new request here on the side. You're gonna wanna change this get to a post, okay? So once it's on a post, uh, you're gonna grab your uh, URL for your Airtable. Now this is your API URL. In order to get that, you can go to your uh, Airtable uh, base here. You can hit the question mark right over here and at the very bottom you have API documentations. Now when you open this up, you can actually come down to this table of contents here and go to contact tables and we can go to the create record section. Cool. Now in the left here, you'll see an example request for creating a record. You can actually go ahead and copy that URL there and that's the URL that we're going to use. So that's what you'll paste right here in the post. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is we can come back to the API documentation here. We're going to want to add the authorization, the bearer, and your API key for Airtable. So under the header section here, you're going to want to add authorization, bearer, and right over here, you're going to want to add your own API key. Um, for your account. Next, we're gonna to go to body. Now in body, we need to uh, add a JSON here. And again, we can go back to our API um, documentation for Airtable. And what we're copying is this section after data right over here, All right? So from the quotations, right after data, everything within those two quotations, uh, we're gonna copy and paste it back into this area here. 
Now once we paste it, we're going to want to change that information over here to the information that we're adding to our form. So in order to do that, you're going to add a dollar sign curly brace and in between the curly brace, you're going to name whatever you want to use to describe the information going into that particular spot. So we're just going to name it the exact same thing, name, description, phone, email, and under photo, uh, it's under the URL section that you're going to want to put in um, that uh, dollar sign curly brace and description there. So you can go ahead, change that according to what you're going to be putting in. And then under parameters, we're going to want to say, we're going to want to put um, all that information here in the keys. So we're collecting a name, description, phone, email, and photo. And you can just put some placeholder information right over there. All right, and then once you put in that placeholder information, you can go ahead and hit send. This is actually going to add this information here to our contact. So you can actually see that uh, it added that information right there. It didn't add a photo because we didn't actually put in an actual URL for the photo. So that's going to be blank, but we know it works because this information here is matching the exact same information that we put here. I'm just going to delete that. All right. So we have our data library all set in Bravo. Now it's time to bind all this information to our actual app. So we go to projects, we can open up our project here. And then in our home screen, we'll do that first. So again, we're going to want to connect to our contact list data library. We're going to want to make sure we're getting the list, not the details, because we want uh, Bravo to create this element for each item in our list. So make sure that we go ahead and make this a little bigger. We're going to make sure that our contact item, which is this element right here is connected to the record. So for each record uh, that I have uh, in the contact list, uh, it's going to create this element here. And we're going to make sure that the name is linking up to the name, the description to the description, and the photo is the photo URL. So that's what we're linking and binding to the um, home screen here. Next, we'll go to our details page. Again, same thing. We're connecting to our contact list. This time we're connecting to the contacts detail. And within the bio, we are linking the name to the name, our photo to the photo URL, uh, description to the description, but this time we're adding the phone number and emails um, to the contact. Now the final one is going to be our contact form. So for this one, we are actually going to connect it to, again, our contact uh, list data library, um, but we're going to choose that post request that we chose, uh, that we just created. Now, before we get into linking everything, you can see that there's a diff, uh, another section down here that is the response action. So if uh, this form is submitted successfully, you can say show alert, go to page, open a URL or refresh. Um, we're just going to say go to page and we're going to make it go back to the home screen. Um, if there's an error, it'll show an alert and you can write whichever, whatever error message you want to put. Uh, so again, um, in here under our frames, we're going to want to look for those input sections. So you want to look for, for text, you want to look for that cursor, the text cursor. And for that text input, you're going to want to make sure that we submit the information that is put into this section of the form to, in this case, name um, for the description or father. Uh, we're going to put it to description, the phone number to phone, and the email to email. 
and we also want to make sure that our photo is uploaded to the photo section. Now the last thing we want to do is make sure um, that this add contact whatever button that we had should have some type of link here now we don't need to select anything Bravo does it by default but we do want to make sure that it does have the data library symbol here so we know that it was properly tagged with the Bravo tag and that it's going to submit our information so there you go that's how we can now connect all our information from our Airtable list here and connect it to our Bravo app. So if I actually go ahead, I can manually add something into Airtable. And we're gonna make it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And we don't have a photo, so we'll leave that blank. Uh, but if we look at our design here, this is the default photo that's gonna show, so that will be the photo when we take a look at our app. So if I come down here and I update this Bravo app, it should now have that new contact that we manually added into Airtable right over here. So we know everything's working. Again, we can add a contact. Um, and we can say friend. And number. Whatever the email is. We're not going to add a photo and we can hit add contact. Now what you might notice is that when we add a contact that we just added, our app didn't refresh um, and we, know, we don't see that contact that we just added here. In order to do that, we need to right now update the Bravo app, but that would mean that we would have to close out the app every time we add something in order to see our new contact, which we don't want. Uh, we wanna make sure that it can refresh within the app, which is what we're gonna go over in the next section.